Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 29th of October 2021 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we get towards the end of the week here, what do you need to be aware of? Well firstly, in the last week we have seen a 9% increase in the overall net long positions from hedge funds and money managers into silver and with that we have seen prices continue to hold above 24 US dollars per ounce trading back towards one month highs in the lead up to the European Central Bank announcement of breakout alongside gold which broke out in fact to the resistance levels that we discussed with you which was back towards 1810 US dollars per ounce after of course finding support this week at the exact zones that we talked you through on Tuesday which was 1775 to 1780 US dollars per ounce we found support bang on those levels and we subsequently had a slingshot move higher back towards 1810 US dollars per ounce now we have had the European Central Bank announcement on Thursday I would again look at the normal playbook here, which is typically as you go into Friday from the US session onwards, this is usually where you get a fake out. What that means is metals can pick up momentum on the Friday after a European Central Bank announcement. Then I would watch out for selling pressure, especially given that it's the very last trading day of October as well. So normally, after a European Central Bank announcement, the day afterwards into the US session, gold and silver tank so just be aware of that normally it's later on in the day that that does occur now it's not a guarantee but it's happened so far every single european central bank announcement in 2021 on the friday in the afternoon gold and silver they tank so just be aware of that then as we go into next week we have the fomc statement on wednesday and then we have the non-farm payroll data on friday so this really sets up for an explosive november so as you know Going into next week, it's going to be Monday the 1st of November. As we kick off a new month, normally again you get a bounce higher for the metals at the beginning of the week in the lead up to the FOMC statement. Then you see profit taking later in the week, especially with the non-farm payroll data. Also some interesting statistics for you on silver is that into the month of November from non-farm payroll onwards, typically over the last seven years, silver has sold off anywhere between 2.5% to 10% throughout the remainder of November after Friday's non-farm payroll data, which we have next week on Friday, the 5th of November. So overall, I would expect any rallies on silver to be short-lived within the next week or so, and then corrective pressure throughout the rest of November, but sets up for some great trade opportunities again as you move into the month of December. Now, energies have also been fantastic over the month of October. As I mentioned to you on Tuesday, we talked you through it on the week ahead commodity report, big opportunity on natural gas, to buy a nice and low after we retested the swing lows last week. We broke down to one month lows, natural gas prices from their highs to their lows. They dropped over 20%. That gave a great opportunity to buy in and capitalize on the gap high that we had at the beginning of the week. Natural gas prices had their biggest one day move to the upside since September of 2020. With that, we were able to bank over 2000 points on two positions on natural gas. So of course, for every one lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $20,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $200,000 of profit that you would be able to capitalize on over the last week with the price action that we have seen there on natural gas. So again, the major news items to look out for now are Friday, the post-European central bank sell-off, which is often the case later on in the session on Friday. As we go into the afternoon from about 2.30 London time onwards, normally get that pressure to the downside on the metals. Next week, we have the FOMC statement. I'm expecting a bounce higher over Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for gold, for silver. And then again, a pause as we go into Friday's non-farm payroll data. So that's really the playbook that we look at at the moment with silver over the next week there. Again, I hope you are able to capitalize on the ranges that we discussed with you on Tuesday with gold. Those have played out extremely well this week as well. And again, this comes down to utilizing research data, market intelligence, statistics are extremely important. Having awareness of the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, marry that up with the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, the sentiment, of course, the key drivers, the news items which will have the biggest impact 
be aware of key areas of liquidity. Capital flows as well, very important. Just be mindful that as we go into next week, it is the beginning of a new month, but tomorrow on Friday is going to be the very last trading day of October. So often you do see outflows and further profit taking. And then of course you want to marry that up with how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned in the market that will help you massively to get an edge so with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders learn the professional research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program